Toyota Safety Sense is an advanced suite of active safety features that come standard on nearly all modern Toyota vehicles. This video will provide a closer look at the controls and settings for the six driver assistance systems that make up the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 and 2.5 Plus suites. This is managed through the Settings menu of the vehicle's multi-information display section of the instrument panel, which is controlled through the switch gear on the steering wheel. Before we begin, it's important to note that your vehicle's details may differ slightly. For example, the exact layout of instrument panel elements may not match the illustrations in this video. Refer to the Owner's Manual for information on your specific vehicle. Pre-Collision System, or PCS, is designed to help detect a vehicle, a bicyclist, or a pedestrian in certain situations. It can provide an alert, as well as automatically brake. This alert timing can be adjusted. To do this, select the Settings menu. Then enter the PCS menu by selecting it and briefly holding the OK button. Now select Sensitivity and press OK to toggle the setting between Far, Middle, and Near. Within this PCS menu, the system can also be enabled or disabled by selecting PCS and pressing OK to toggle the setting on or off. Please note, however, that the system will automatically re-enable each time the vehicle is turned on. Lane Tracing Assist, or LTA, uses the lines on the road and preceding vehicles to help keep your vehicle centered and in its lane. To achieve this, LTA incorporates functions like lane centering, sway warning, and lane departure alert with steering assist. Lane departure alert is considered a separate feature within the TSS suite, but it's best thought of as part of lane tracing assist, as far as its settings and controls are concerned. When dynamic radar cruise control is active, the lane centering function will operate the steering wheel to maintain the vehicle's positions within its lane. To enable or disable lane centering, select the Settings menu. Then enter the LTA menu by selecting it and briefly holding the OK button. Now select Lane Center and press OK to toggle the setting. Please note that once enabled, a quick press of the LTA button on the steering wheel can activate or deactivate this feature. This system also includes a sway warning function that can alert drivers if excessive swaying between lane markers is detected. To adjust the sway warning sensitivity, select Sway Sensitivity from the LTA menu and press OK to toggle the setting. To disable sway warning, select Sway Warning from the LTA menu and press OK. Meanwhile, lane departure alert with steering assist may help you avoid the consequences of unintended lane departure by alerting you when it senses that you veered from your lane and may provide gentle corrective steering if the driver does not take corrective action. To adjust the system sensitivity, select Sensitivity from within the LTA menu and press OK to toggle the setting. To disable lane tracing assist entirely, press and hold the LTA button on the steering wheel until the indicator on the instrument panel turns off. Press the button again to reactivate the system. Please note that LTA settings will be maintained regardless of ignition cycle. Automatic High Beams, or AHB, aids nighttime driving by using a camera to detect headlights and taillights of preceding vehicles, and then toggle accordingly between high and low beams. AHB is different from other Toyota Safety Sense features in that it's not controlled through the multi-information display and steering wheel buttons. Instead, simply set the headlight switch to Auto, and press the AHB button to activate or deactivate it. High beams can still be activated manually by pushing the headlight lever forward, while low beams can be activated manually by changing the switch from auto. Dynamic Radar Cruise Control, or DRCC, is designed to adjust your speed, helping you maintain a preset distance from the car in front of you. To adjust this distance, simply press the Vehicle to Vehicle Distance button to cycle between long, medium, and short. Just note that distance can still vary in situations like long downhill slopes. To turn the system on, press the DRCC button once, and to turn it off, press it again. 
DRCC can also switch to a standard constant speed cruising mode. To do this, press and hold the DRCC button until the indicator on the instrument panel changes from DRCC to constant speed. Please note, however, that the system will revert to DRCC mode when the vehicle is restarted. When the system is on in either mode, the set speed can be increased by one mile per hour by pressing the plus res button, or increased by larger increments by holding the button. Similarly, the set speed can be decreased by pressing or holding the minus set button. Road Sign Assist, or RSA, is designed to detect speed limit, stop, do not enter, and yield signs and then display them on the MID. To enable or disable this system, select the Settings menu. Then enter the RSA menu by selecting it and pressing OK. Now select RSA and press OK to toggle the setting on or off. Please note that if a sign was displaying when the system was deactivated, it will still be shown upon reactivation. So that's a quick overview of Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 and 2.5 Plus system controls. Again, please remember that your exact vehicle may differ slightly and that the owner's manual should be referenced for specific information. To learn more about Toyota Safety Sense, be sure to visit toyota.com/safetysense.